This little car might look simple but it's got real headlights and I can control it from my phone. I designed it in Fusion 360, kept it minimal and honestly I have no idea if it would even work. But it looked good enough to try so let's get printed. Alright 3D printing is done, everything turned out really nice, I mixed different PLA colors for a cool look and went with TPU95A for the tires since they need to be flexible. Now let's move on to the electronics, for the main board I'm using the ESP32C6 from Waveshear, a perfect choice for this project thanks to its compact size and powerful specs. Next we need 2 and 20 motors, to drive them I have added a generic motor driver along with the battery charging module and a USB Type-C connector for easy charging. With all the essential part gathered, it's time to start the connection and assembly. The wiring is pretty straightforward, I have included the complete wiring diagram in the description for reference. Ok so I completely forgot about the battery to power this build, we'll need a small lipo battery, I found this one in my junk box. I'm also adding a slight switch so we can easily turn it on and off. For the headlights, I have decided to use an ARGB LED which I cut from an old LED strip. With the connections complete, let's move on to the assembly. To create the headlights, I took this piece of acrylic, cut it into the required shape and insert it into the main enclosure. Perfect, it will glow when we turn on the lights. Alright guys, the car is almost complete and it's looking pretty nice. The only thing is left installing the tires. It's pretty simple, we just need two 685 double Z bearings. Since this car has two free wheels and two motor driven wheels, I'm a bit nervous because I wasn't sure if this method would work. But anyway, let's get these tires on and finish the project. So finally guys the project is complete. I really love how this thing looks. Doesn't it feel like straight out of a sci-fi movie? Comment down below. As you can see it has two ports, one for programming and other one for charging. Now we are down to the last step, uploading the code. But before that, a big shout out to LTM for sponsoring this video. If you are into electronics and PCB design like me, you have probably heard of LTM Designer. It's one of the most powerful tools out there for bringing your ideas to life. For schematics to layout, it's got everything you need with super intuitive workflow. What really sets it apart is LTM 365. It moves your entire design process to the cloud so you can access your project from anywhere collaborate with your team in real time and even manage component without ever leaving the platform. It's let you comment on specific part of the design and sync changes in real time with your team or manufacturer. It's like having a smarter, more connected workspace for your electronics. Check out the link in the description to start your free trial and 25% off. Coming back to the video, so here are the codes I came up with, just select the board, upload the code and we are ready to roll. 
Alright, now it's time for the real test. Turn on the car and open the Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone. You will find the car's network, connect to it. Once connected, open your browser and go to 192.168.1.4. The controller menu will appear. From here you can control the car, move it in any direction and switch on the headlights. As you can see, it's working fine. And just look at that headlights. Pretty nice, right? I've also added some cool modes, it can glow white, change colors, blink and much more. But here's the catch, while everything looks great, the car doesn't actually turn properly. <laughs> it takes a lot of efforts to make it move sideways and honestly, I would call this version a failed project. Since only the front left and right rear wheel are powered, this car doesn't get balanced traction on both sides. This diagonal drive setup makes it hard to create the turning force needed so. Instead of turning smoothly, this car just struggles and drags. Guess I should have paid more attention in physics class, it, <laughs> it would have never happened. However, I'm not stopping here, I have decided to create a much better version of it, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting builds. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, until then, bye bye.